Thank you very much. Uh, first ever nomination tonight as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. First and last, probably. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> uh, how do you feel in advance of something like this? I, I, you can't really prepare for something like this. It just, you just sort of go along with the madness and try to enjoy yourself. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I don't, you know, this could only happen once, and it's like just a fun thing to be involved in. You know? It might very well happen again. You're filming another series, aren't you? Yeah, we're doing a second series at the moment, yeah. So, um, yeah, who knows? It must be quite interesting playing a character that's kind of a caring person one minute and then quite sinister. I think yeah. that's a good word, the next. No sense, definitely. I mean, that's a big part of the challenge of the character. And um, I always try to approach him as two separate characters to allow for that. And um, it makes it all the more tricky to watch. You know, I think for the audience, you see him being a good... A good father, a decent husband, and then you also see what he's getting up to at night, and it's um, it's all the more harrowing for that, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I know, obviously, we've got Fifty Shades as well. Do you find that is the fall affected your career more than Fifty Shades, or would it be the other way around? I sort of have no idea yet. Until Fifty comes out, it's hard to know how that's going to be, um, how it's going to have an effect on me, I guess. But um, the fall sort of changed everything in that, you know, I'd never done a job for the BBC before, never mind you know, a lead in something as well put together this, so um, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Sister, you are loved, you're loved, can you hear that? I think that? just by these people here. <laughs>